So then guys, in 2026, it's looking like that Apple are gonna bring out some new budget devices. Now I call them budget devices, but these are more like SE models or E models or things like this. These are kind of the models that give you most of the main features, but give you that Apple experience without costing an absolute fortune for them, at least in Apple's eyes, an absolute fortune. So let's talk about them. What kind of products have we seen already in 2025 that we could count as budget ones? Well, essentially we actually only got two of these products, back in 2025. The first one we actually saw was the new iPhone 16e and essentially this replaced the likes of the iPhone SE. So the iPhone 16e is really a design what is based on the iPhone 14 but it does have a few differences here. One of the key differences on the back on the camera is that we've only got a single 48 megapixel sensor lens and this is still a great sensor to actually have on an iPhone but it's just the only one that we actually have on the back. There's no kind of ultra wide and of course there's no kind of telephoto. Obviously you can do image cropping on this two times or even further but you get me not a dedicated one. But the other thing we also got with this iPhone is we got the likes of an A18 chip inside of it. Very similar to like what we got with the iPhone sort of 16 normal. The only one main difference is it is missing one of the GPU cores. So we've only got four GPU cores inside of it. But then what we've also got, we do have the C1 chip inside of it. And this has helped with 5G connectivity and also Wi-Fi 6 connectivity and also helps out the battery life inside of this iPhone. And this came out at 599 US dollars. But at the end of 2025, you can actually pick up this phone for less than $500 if you do shop around, what is really, really good. The other device that we would count as budget that also came out in 2026 was the update to the normal iPad. Now, the normal iPad, it didn't design change, didn't change whatsoever for this 11th generation. It's the same as the 10th gen. The main difference was, was literally the chip inside of it. So instead of an A14 chip, we've now got an A16 chip inside of this iPad. We've also now got 60, six gigabytes of RAM in inside of it and also the storage is now 128 gigabytes as the minimum but yet yeah, Apple managed to retain the same price at 329 US dollars for it again though if you shop around the end of 2025 you could even pick this up for about 280 or 270 US dollars what is great value for it but as we move on to 2026 what new budget kind of products are we going to see from Apple? Well, it looks like we're going to get three of them. And let's get started then with the first one, what is a brand new product altogether. And it's essentially what you're seeing here on my desk. It is going to be a budget MacBook for the very first time, or I could say a budget MacBook in a very long time, because Apple did used to make a budget MacBook many, many years ago. But essentially what this new MacBook is, one of the key differences of it is that it's going to use an old design. So this design is probably going to be one of two designs. One of them could be the 2015 and 2017 MacBook design. This was a 12.8 inch display, what we got with this MacBook. Um, with that, it's only got one USB-C port on it. This is one of the designs they could use. The other design is the MacBook Air design that we actually got from 2018 to 2020. And that M1 MacBook Air, for example, used that design too. So this could also be the design of this at a 13.3 inch design. The other key difference with this MacBook is obviously got to do with its chip. So instead of having an M chip inside of it, more than likely we've been told it's going to have the A18 Pro chip inside of it. That isn't the latest A19 Pro or the A19 chip. Again, because it's budget, it uses an old one, very similar to what the iPad does. It's going to use an older chip inside of it, but it's still a very good chip. Do remember the A18 Pro in single core performance, that is far faster than the M1, the M2, and even the M3 in single core performance. But in multi-core performance, it's on par or around about the same as say the M1 chip. So this is still really, really great. We're expecting this to come with eight or 12 gigabytes of RAM, and probably storage is gonna start out about 128 gigabytes or even potentially 256 gigabytes of storage. And the starting price is looking to be about 599 US dollars to about 699 US dollars. We've been told that this new budget
budget MacBook. It's on its way for springtime 2026. So most likely it could come out anywhere between say around about March to about May time. That is the sort of target time that this new MacBook is gonna come. So this is really exciting news to hear. But first, just quickly guys, I wanna tell you about the channel giveaway for this right here. That's right, I'm giving away an iPhone 17 Pro Max to one lucky subscriber on this channel. And you can enter into this giveaway right now for this iPhone 17 Pro Max on this international giveaway. And I say international giveaway because this iPhone 17 Pro Max actually also have a physical SIM card slot inside of it. Cause I know some countries out there, you guys don't allow eSIM. So, you know, made sure of that. So this is really, really great news that anyone can enter in. Now there are two things you need to do to enter into this giveaway. The first thing you need to do is put down into the comments below of what technology gear you're hoping to get in 2025 or the early part of 2026 put it down to the comments below. It could be anything. It could be say you're getting a new iPhone, a new iPad, a new MacBook. Maybe it's got nothing to do with Apple whatsoever. It could be say a Nintendo Switch 2. Whatever it is, just put it down below. Now the other part of the giveaway, that is gonna be happening in mid-January time. And the reason why I say mid-January time is because that is when I'm actually gonna be giving away this iPhone 17 Pro Max. But just before I give it away, I'll be making a video on this channel giving you even more details about the actual giveaway. And you definitely want to see that video because it will tell you even more details and also give you a form to fill in too. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because you won't want to miss out on that video. Plus you also want to be a subscriber too because obviously this is going away to one lucky subscriber. The last thing I just want to quickly say to you guys is that sadly there are still scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating me, tending to WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram direct message. Please do ignore these people, best you can see right here. Please do report them. So moving on from this then, there are two more other devices that are looking to come out in 2026 that I consider budget. And that's the upgrades to both of these on my desk right now, the iPhone and also the iPad. So let's start with the iPhone to begin with. It's most likely we're gonna get an iPhone 17 E. The thing what I would say about this new iPhone 17e is again, don't expect a lot of big changes to happen with the actual design. It'll probably still have the notch. It'll probably still only have the single camera on the back of it. The main difference is it'll have inside of it a A19 normal chip in it. But again, one of the key differences with this A19 normal, it'll probably have one less GPU compared to say the iPhone 17 regular out there. So just be aware of that. One of the other big changes it could also have, it could have say the new C2 chip inside of it. So this would be really exciting to see. And also it could probably have the N1 or even an N2 chip also added into the likes of this iPhone. So it also will bring out better battery life. So expect an extra hour or two in battery life for this. One other thing a lot of people are crying out for, and hopefully this does come true, that Apple actually might even launch this new iPhone at 400 199 US dollars. Whether that will happen or not, we'll just have to wait and see. But one thing I would say is, even if it does come out 599 US dollars, just wait probably about three to four months later, you'll probably be able to pick it up for 499 US dollars if you do shop around. But then after this then, the third last budget product we're gonna see in 2026, and that is this iPad right here is gonna get an update again. This time it's going to get inside of it, it's gonna get an A19 chip inside of it, the baseline version, probably very similar to the one we got in the iPhone 16e. So again, missing one of those GPU cores in it. But the one of the key differences with this having this A19 is that we would have eight gigabytes of RAM added to it, and then also so at the same time, it would enable things like Apple intelligence for the baseline iPad. And this would be absolutely awesome to see put inside of this device. Probably the actual pricing is probably gonna stay exactly the same. The 128 gigabytes minimum storage is gonna stay exactly the same. But again, I would say that this iPad and also the iPhone 17e are on target exactly like the budget MacBook. They're probably gonna come out in springtime 2026. That's what we've been told. So anywhere between March till May time 2026. So yeah, this is really exciting news. But really guys, that is the latest and greatest what we have on the new 
budget kind of devices coming out in 2026. Are you excited for them? Are you going to get any of them? Well, let me know in the comments below. And on that note as well, guys, it's time to wrap up the video too. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. As always, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.